Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Knights of the Fallen Empire episode 18! That is quite a mouthful, but I've been able to perfect it! Yay! Yay! So, I probably should have mentioned a few episodes ago, we're now going to get into the sort of dull stuff now. Obviously we've done the nine chapters, so there's going to be no full story-ish. I mean, there is this with the, with the Star Fortresses, with uh, Theron and all that, there is that, but of course after those sort of cutscenes we get into the classic Knights of the Old Republic style cutscenes. I probably should mention as well my opinions on that. I like it, but I get the feeling it's there for a reason. It's not there to be inspired by Knights of the Old Republic. I fear it's there for people to trial out if anything were to happen to the voice actors, because after a while, well, we may end up losing voice actors, you know, voice actors may not want to come back, or their contracts may end, or tragically they may die, uh, they may go on strike, there's a strike coming up, so I think this is Bioware's way of trying to get something new into the game, get people used to it, so that if they have to stop all the voice acting, they've got the reason, and then you can just get like a few voice actors in here and there to do a few voices, and then there we go. And that way you don't have to worry about your character's voice actor. I mean, don't get me wrong, the quality of the game will drop significantly, but I feel that is what Bioware are trying to do. In my opinion, I could be wrong, but that's what I think they're secretly trying to do. Um, so anyway, last time, Kroll gave us the location of the Star Fortress Shield Bunker, and we need to investigate it and find a way to destroy the sealed shield generator so that we can actually do something to the Star Fortress in the sky that you can't see because it was a flashpoint. So. Let us investigate. Let's scan for heat signatures. Hey, look, there's a heat signature. I think this might be it. Uh, disable this cool transmitter. We were inside Kranosoka there. That was a bit wrong, but we were. The transmitter is over here. La 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 la. And let me guess that phase is going to open afterwards. Oh, no. Oh, oh, hi. Hello. Wow, you pretty much dropped out of nowhere, didn't you? Oh, well. Uh, that's you dead. I was a bit worried you were going to throw those lightsabers at those Eshka then. Uh, speak to Crow. Oh, so we're not going to... Oh. Okay. Pretty soon I'll have that what that thingy as well. I don't know if you can see it. That little icon in their name. This little thing here. I'll have that at some point once I actually finish the smuggler. <laughs> so what's this then? We're scanning it. So what's the phase? I don't know. Maybe we'll have to come back and uh, go inside it in a minute. I guess we'll go find out in a sec. Wait, why am I manually trying to make my way to this guy? I, forget, I keep forgetting his name because his name's too complicated. Cockroll? When I can just travel to him? <laughs> I'm going to do that a lot now. I'm going to forget that I can just quick travel to someone now. And I'm going to go all the way there manually. Oh, well. Hello. For a mirror, I swear, I think I felt the ruckus you kicked up at that shield generator all the way over here. Should have figured that bunker would have would have external defenses. Glad you took them out, Commander. Now for the real tricky part: getting enough detonite inside that place to burn it down for good. I can provide warm bodies for the assault, but they'll need outfitting. I hate to put it on you, but supplying troops ain't exactly my speciality. Uh, I'm not a delivery service, and your warm bodies are disposable scum, or there must be some way to get what we need. No guy, no guy. There are all kinds of emergency on bail sal emergencies on bail sal people, need, people you need tend to be grateful when you help them out, and hey, there's always looters to steal from, am I right? Schemas. I'll let you know once we've got enough supplies to mount the assault. Good luck, Commander. Uh, turn and supply crates to crawl. Alright, so you mean these things? Well, um... I do have five. I have more than five, actually, so... Have some supply crates! We're not fully supplied yet. What can I do for you, Commander? Uh, turn on supply crates. Uh, let's do one of those. Yep. Give. What a find! This gear looks new and no blood stains. It's getting us closer, but we're not there yet. Yep, I know. I've got another one. Have that. What a find! Yep. Uh, have another one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Turn another one. Turn in one of those. Yeah. One more. And there we go. You did it, Commander. That's everything we need to start this shield-busting party. 
We've got troops, gear, and a clear shot at the generator bunker. I'll meet you inside. Don't start without me. I wouldn't dream of it, Commander. Keep your fingers crossed I still have an eye for talent. Let's move out. Alrighty, so there is a reason. Oh, bloody hell, I gained 10,000 influence with him. What is that taking me up to? Uh, oh, that's taking me right up to 10. Oh, lovely. Uh, so, um, there's a reason to do all the heroic missions now. Because, of course, they allow you to do all the heroic missions on every single planet in two-man. Well, it's two-man, but you can just go in with your companion. You can go in it solo and do it with your companion. I've, so far, the three two-man heroics I've done, I've been able to... Wait, wait. So, the random mount you gave me was my rocket boost. Thanks for that. Okay. Um, <laughs> where was I? Uh, yeah, you, you can just two-man uh, with your companion for pretty... I, th I assume pretty much all the heroics. I mean, the three heroics I've done, I've been able to do it. So, you know, and they give a lot of credits as well. So, there is a really good... Re ooh. Ooh. What is this? Oh, let's take a look at what we've got here. Uh. Ooh. Ah. Some credits. Uh, some braces, which I don't need. Some. Ah. Oh, I get some companion gifts as well. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Oh, apparently cough will like that. There we go. And you. Got some really nice stuff, I think. Not that I'll really need to wear them because I think I prefer. That's something else. Indeed, I really nice. hope. I really hope you have companion stories. I get the feeling you don't, but hey, ooh, that looks very nice. I may wear that on Granitoko. May change that, but who knows? We'll decide that later. Right, onward. Actually, where was I? Yeah, I was saying about the heroic missions. Yeah, again, for the third time, you can solo it with your companion. Okay. So that's fine, and they give a lot of credits as well. And obviously, they, every, every time you do one, they give you uh, supply crates too. So that's handy. Right inside the shield bunker, we go. Uh, speak to Crow. Oh, Crow's already here. Ah uh, ha ha ha! And everyone's dead. Ah uh, ha ha ha! Uh, hello, Crow. The enemy doesn't know what hit them. My recruits are as good as I thought. I know where to plant the detonite so it will bring this whole place down. Looking forward to see you in action, Commander. Let's go. Oh, you're an actual companion now. Okay. I mean, I, I guess that's okay. Thanks. Really? Thanks. Okay then. Away we go. I do kind of worry that Bioware may have gone overboard with the companion and contacts system. I mean, yeah, sure. It's great that you're going to give us a lot of companions to have now. I understand that. That's fine. But what's kind of the point, really? Because no doubt people are going to have their favorite companions. It's like my favorite companions right now are Koth and Lana. Sometimes Senyu as well. I barely ever use Theron, barely ever use Scorpio, barely ever use T7. So, people are not going to want to increase their influence, really. I mean, yeah, sure, it increases their stats, but who's really going to want to bother? I mean, I don't think I really want to bother increasing Kroll's influence, to be honest, because I probably barely use Kroll. So unless you add some sort of story, which I highly doubt you will, I probably won't bother. I could have sworn this bunker was a lot smaller on the outside than it is on the inside. Maybe this bunker is a TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. Or maybe it just, I don't know, goes underneath and then goes somewhere else. I mean, it is a bunker after all, so this is probably underneath. Yeah, that's why they call it a bunker, because it's, I don't know, underneath, I guess? Underneath that tower which we saw outside? Which makes sense, because, you know, this is a... I don't know. Looks like something that could be underground. Defeat the shield generator defender. Would that be you? 
ZK094R. I say Z like I'm American. I know, I know, I should say Z, but... I don't know, I just... Growing up, I was always being told it was Dragon Ball Z. And, you know, it's kind of crap to say Dragon Ball Z. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Or... Previously on Dragon Ball Z. No, it just... No, it just sounds more cool to be like... Last time on Dragon Ball Z. You know? It's just... It's just me. And you're dead. Wonderful. Destroy the shield. Johnny, are you going to drop anything? No, sir. All right. Uh, overload the shield generator. Leave. Let's just leave, shall we? No, let's overload. Run! It's gonna explode! Ha ha ha, this is awesome. Right, now we need to speak to a cockerel again. Oh, we're already back. Oh, okay. We're already back here. That's fine. Oh, bloody hell, you can actually see the Star Fortress. Oh. Okay, I didn't think you were able to see it in the sky. I guess it's big enough that you actually can. Oh, I like that. You're as good as they say. Maybe better. Everyone on that Star Fortress knows they lost their shield. That's got to be scary for them. Our losses were quite were surprisingly light. I got quite a few ex-cons thinking they're getting off this rock to help the Alliance. But my new job is coordinating the Star Fortress attacks from your camp on Odessan. What should I do with my recruits before I ship out? Uh, We'll take him with us. They'll get the most suicidal missions I can find. Bring them along. The Alliance is a second chance for anyone willing to serve. Leave the prisoners here. They can't be trusted. Uh... We'll take him with us. They'll get the most suicidal missions I can find. I'll just tell them we're honoring our deal. They'll figure out the rest on their own. Maybe when that Star Fortress is a big pile of space garbage, I'll get out of the recruiting business. I like that. Knocking out that shield journey was the most fun I've had in years. I wouldn't mind signing on with you full time. But that Star Fortress has got to go first. I'll see you on a descent, Commander. And I get an achievement for that. Lovely. And of course, there's, there's like another part to it, I assume. Uh, unlocked him as a follower. I thought he had already done that. Okay, let's move you over there. And we'll go for... I don't know. Let's go for that. All right, we're getting 65 influence. And we need to start the Heroic 2 of the Star Fortress. But we'll do that in the next episode. For now, we will actually do something else, maybe? Just for a little bit. Uh, what, what should we do? Because we want to make this episode a little bit longer. Um, what could we do? 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 Oh, yes. We were going to give the people at the Odessan, or just Odessan, these lock supply crates so that we can unlock them. Or see how they respond to it. So let's just see what they're like. All right. Hi, Viz. I've got stuff for you. Hey, Commander. Someone's been messing with our food processors. Yeah. The last thing any of our food... Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Hey, Commander, what's going on? Uh, give some more goods. I found some useful things. Uh, I'll receive that, and highly visible like me. Oh, nice. I'll sift through this and see what we've got. Awesome. I got another one. There you go. Uh, have I got any more? I don't. All right, that's fine. Cool, cool. I'll get, let you get back to it. Fly safe. I'll try my best, but unfortunately, I can't actually fly. So, you know, whoo, what will I get? Uh, whoa, I got a rank 6 thing, something, and something. Lovely. Don't I get another one? Pretty sure I'm supposed to get another one, aren't I? Yes, I am. There we go. I found it. It literally just explodes open. And there we go. I'm getting a bunch of gear now that I probably don't need. Uh, or probably will never wear. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Right, so what exactly are these? Obviously, I've looked at this in previous episodes, but I've never fully read things. Uh, so if we want to go to Hilo Viz's one... Hilo Viz's. <laughs> uh, hey, Commander, we need as many ears as to the ground and the eyes of the shadows as we can get if we're going to pull this off. There are some runners around that can carry their weight, sure, but it's not going to hold up for long without more resources and enough credits to fill an excess freighter. 
See if you can chum up some of the contacts on my list and bring us more information on what's going on in the underbelly of the Eternal Empire. You bring me the people and the resources, I'll get to show you what we can really do when our hands get to greasy. Alright. Oh, so I can... Okay. Let me guess. I'm going to accept which one... I don't, know which, I don't mind which one I go for, but let me guess. There's going to be a whole bunch of more things to do in the alerts thing. Oh, there isn't. Oh, okay. Fine, so we'll do this one. The Enclave stands fractured. Commander, differences, cloud, our similarities. My vision shows that you would join our pieces. Make us whole. We will require the support, body, and mind. Artifacts and relics will teach us as new recruits will broaden our eyes. You will be the one to bring us this all together. My vision can guide you, but we must walk the path. Thank you. I'll accept that and get the reward. Let's go for that. Uh, Commander, I don't need to tell you that we have neither the troops or the no or nor the resources to match the Eternal Empire. Our forces are still preoccupied with personal differences and old rivalries, and the lack of offensive hardware isn't helping the situation. We need more leaders and military assets to unify the men and women under this new alliance. We need you to give us the muscle we need to bring some hope back into the back to these people. I believe in your ability get to get things done, Commander. Show the troops that my claims aren't misplaced. All right, and I take the reward there. Um, I was gonna say it's not working. It's take what I, I think it's bugged. There we go. I was gonna say it's not working properly. And of course, Ogrub. No, wait, no, wait. What's this? Okay, I'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, Commander, uh, suggestions minds of this alliance requires your assistance. How can an artist create his masterpiece with empty hands? We need materials to mold the, the like minds of and to secure. At present, our tools are grossly inferior. I request that you probe the length of the galaxy, any of the and all significant enigmas and intellectual savants to be found. We are we require outstanding vessels of body and mind to produce wonders that rival the Eternal Empire. See that my brilliance is not left to stagnate alone and unfulfilled. Accept, please. Thank you. And reward, please. Thank you. So what is this? Uh, you're the you're the credit chit chat that keeps giving. No, oh, you're the credit kick. I can't speak. You're the credit chit chat <laughs> that keeps on giving, Commander. Nothing makes a smuggler happier than new toys, a pile of credits, and some new faces. Show it off. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I'll take my rewards. Thank you. And I do like it. Again? Oh, I'll crop this time. My desire to create intensifies with each new resources that you find. They reward us from the field. Continue to provide marvelous finds, and we shall return to favor with innovations and scientific grandeur. All right, thanks. I'll take that. We're done now. We're done. Yeah, we're done. I also like that you can now get uh, decorations with your common glowing data crystal. So it's nice. Common glow, common glowing and radiant data crystals are used for multiple things now. Gear. Uh, Decorations, I assume. Oh, buying like companion gifts and all that. I, I, it's nice. It really is nice. I like it. Uh, I'm going to give someone a bunch of stuff. Maybe cough. Yeah. Got your back. Hopefully you like this. Yeah, you like these two. Lovely, 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 lovely. Here you go. Well, I'll be. Indeed, indeed. Uh, that's for you as well. That's something else. Indeed it is. Thanks. Indeed it is. And what's your thingy now? Nine. Uh, I just wish you had companion stories. So anyway, we'll leave it there for now. I know it's been a bit of a boring episode, but hey, I just thought I'd just see what these little things were. Next time, we will do the Heroic 2 of the Star Fortress, which will probably be the exact same thing, just a little bit more powerful. And of course, next time, I will have Ian with me because he's already agreed. And I got the text to prove it. Where is it? Where is it? Can't find it. See? There it is. Star Fortress Rock too soon? Sure. You're committed, Ian.